A few months ago, Slipknot and Machine Gun Kelly had overlapping sets at Riot Festival in Chicago, which apparently didn't sit right with Machine Gun Kelly. He launched into an onstage rant, calling Slipknot weird old dudes with masks. He said, quote, you know what I'm happy that I'm not doing? Being 50 years old, wearing a fucking weird mask on a stage, talking shit. Let me see who chose to be here instead of with all the old weird dudes with masks. This obviously ignited the maggots around the world who were very pissed about his comments. Corey Taylor stayed silent for the most part until he was forced to respond after MGK said, very odd that when an artist talks shit and I respond, I'm the bad guy. Which then he added, Corey did a verse for a song on Tickets to My Downfall album. It was fucking terrible. So I didn't use it. He got mad about it and talked shit to a magazine about the same album he was almost on. Y'all stories are all off. Just admit he's bitter. Which then led Corey Taylor, who was forced to respond and prove that he actually declined to appear on the album. The entire thing was a whole mess, but the main takeaway here is that Corey has tried to avoid this at every turn and try to stay out of it. So please understand, he was asked about this situation at a Q&A by fans and he responded. You know the whole thing, what does Corey Taylor think? So Corey performed on the Shiprocked Cruise last weekend and he was asked about the feud by a fan in the crowd and here's what he had to say. I had to allow one more. <laughs> I, actually, I actually answered this question at a convention about a month and a half ago. So I will tell you right now. Um, for those of you that don't know, MGK doesn't like me very much. MGK's own country! And let me, let me follow that up with by saying, I don't care. Right. Um, I won't fill you in on the whole fucking story because you can go online and look it all up. However, I will say this. He maintains that I started it. The truth is, he started it. And I will explain to you why. He did now, after I had already told them, but if you don't know, they, they asked me to do a tune with them. They sent it to me, I didn't dig it, and I tried to do something with it because of my respect for Travis, because he and I worked together before. They sent me these really weird notes, and they wanted me to sing his words, which weren't, you no. Know? And I just said, you know what? I don't, I'm not comfortable with this, I'm not gonna do it. And I sent an email, I posted that email, uh, and I didn't hear back from them. Fast forward, I thought I was done. Fast forward about eight months, and Machine Gun Kelly is doing this weird Instagram Live interview with Ali from Spotify. And he goes off on this fucking rant about rock stars and comfortable shoes. It sounds as smart as you think it is. It's like, what are you doing up there in your fucking comfortable shoes? Put on some boots and rock! You're fucking, I mean, he's, I mean, spit is coming out of his face. And I'm watching it and I'm going, you fuck. You've been here for five minutes, basically. And you're gonna fucking run your mouth about bands that have been doing this for 20 fucking years? Yeah. Like, in the mud, in the dirt, fucking, they're gonna wear whatever the fuck they want. You're gonna walk in here with your fucking black tongue and try to talk some shit on some bands that would fucking circle your ass? Fuck you, dude. Woo! When I had my opportunity to say something, I did, and I didn't call them out. I just, you know, said what I said about people, you know, failing in one genre, and sliding over to another. And it must be country that, that. that upset him. <laughs> and then he didn't say anything until, weirdly, you know, we're in Chicago on, you know, on the same, you know, show and we're playing we're playing basically at the same time he wasn't happy that there were a lot of people at our show and i i do mean a lot <laughs> but 
But he, to this day, maintains that I started it. And it's like, the only reason I said what I said is because he yeah. said what he said. You don't get to walk into a genre with the history, with the work, and the fact that this genre really doesn't get the fucking respect that it deserves. Yeah! You don't get to walk in as some weird substitute teacher and pretend like you can tell us what to wear. Boots, shoes, house fucking shoes, slippers. How about you suck every inch of my dick? You don't get to do that. And these are bands that maybe I don't even fucking know, but guess what? I fucking respect them because they get on fucking stage and they fucking give every fucking thing they've got. <laughs> and on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, that's my show. Thank you so fucking much. I appreciate it. Thanks for the camera, everybody. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.